Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So today, you guys, I am super excited because we are testing out brand new makeup. These are my favorite fit, uh, videos, videos to film because you get a genuine first impression slash reaction from me, whether I like these products or not. So the other day I went to Walmart and I saw that a new brand, it's not a new brand, but it is a new brand to Walmart. So it's Revolution by Makeup Revolution and everything is under $5. I was like, what? I have to check it out. I bought me pretty much a full face and we're gonna test them out together. We're gonna see if these are worth it or not because just because they are just because they are under five dollars it doesn't mean that they're worth your money so i will let you guys know what is up what is down what is good what is not from this new brand brand from walmart so i hope you guys are excited if you are then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel it is free and it's the best way to support me with that said you already know grab your cafecito and let's uh, let's jump right into this video jeez because i cannot talk apparently i spent a total of 33 dollars and 82 cents well 36 with taxes and that pretty much got me a full face of every, of everything so as you can see um everything is like two dollars and 98 cents 298 298 and they had a ton more products i just didn't want to overdo it because i was like i don't know how good these are going to be but of course we're going to test them out so let me show you what i got i got an eyeshadow palette they have a blush and highlighter duo this is the color that i have they also had some pink and other good ones but they were sold out out of a few shades i picked up a super matte two-in-one foundation and concealer that's going to be interesting that is what the packaging looks like pretty cute i got a mattifying powder as well as as a different highlighter even though the blush came with a highlighter i wanted to test out the highlighter that is on its own i also got a matte primer a matte setting spray and then we got a bronzer and a lipstick so i am excited let's get into it i feel like this brand is very geared towards like gen z like the younger audience but we'll see so this is what the packaging looks like it says super matte primer it has a nice little pump and this is what the product actually looks like so it's very it feels like a gel Oh my gosh, that smells really good. Yeah, this is definitely like very younger audience makeup, you know? It smells just like watermelon. It smells really, really good. And this is supposed to mattify the skin. We'll see. My skin is a little oily right now because of all my skincare products. I'm gonna take a little bit more it feels nice on the skin, I do have to say. It's almost like refreshing, but it's not cooling. It doesn't have a cooling sensation. It just feels refreshing on the skin. Of course, it's not going to reduce the appearance of the pores, which for me is a huge, huge thing. I do want to add that they also had other products like color correcting and things like that, <clears throat> but they were out of my shade. So again, I just picked up what I could. So far, I really like the scents. I like the texture of it, but I'm not really seeing the matte effect yet. Usually the primers that do mattify the skin immediately take any shine away and my skin still looks a little bit shiny, but it feels hydrated. Let's go in with the foundation. So again, this is the Super Matte 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. It's supposed to be full coverage, and it doesn't really have any information. The shade that I picked up is 10.5. It's in this really nice, like, glass-like bottle. So let's try it with a brush and a sponge. Okay, so unfortunately, this does not have a pump. You kind of just get it how it is. And I am going to take that much. Looks like it might be a little bit tan, but I don't mind. I'm going to take this brush from e.l.f. And I am going to start patting it into the skin. Oh yeah, this is way too dark. I'm going to have to bring it all the way down. And it's quite orangey, if I'm honest. This doesn't have a scent. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. 
And since this is supposed to be a concealer, we're taking it there. We're taking it underneath the eyes. And then I'm gonna grab some on the forehead. This foundation oxidizes so much, I cannot keep up with it. Honestly, this is giving me like little girl Claire's foundation vibes. This is not good, oh my gosh. I'm gonna just use the brush for the rest of my face because honestly, a beauty sponge is gonna give me absolutely no coverage, so I'm cringing. I'm cringing so hard, you guys. Girl, we are two products in, and am I already... Mm, no, this is such a big no. So I went ahead and used this product for the under eyes, and <laughs> absolutely not. I'm going to grab a concealer because this is like... This is so bad, oh my goodness. Ah. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now this powder, let's see, it's a super matte powder, non-comedogenic, with, with pink clay and niacinamide, super matte finish, lightweight touch. We are gonna see about that. This is in the shade Vanilla, which can we even talk about the shade? It's yeah, it's a little bit off. It looks a little pink, but this one, honestly, out of everything, looks the most promising. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to set underneath the eyes. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just take this all over the skin first because who knows? So this is going to work. Let's just take that all over the skin. I mean, immediately it's like, oh my gosh. Oh no. Let me not do that and just use this underneath the eyes. Okay, that definitely did mattify the skin. I really thought that primer was going to be like my new gem. I was like, yes, something that's going to be affordable. It's going to mattify the skin, but doesn't seem like it's going to do anything. As much as it's mattifying the skin, it's also just really, really drying. So, yeah. So it looks a little bit better now that I put on the powder, but still... I just feel the foundation like so heavy on the skin and it could be because I also went a little bit heavy on the foundation but still it's just not laying as nice as it normally does look at how much cakiness is happening right here so let's move on to the blush I have high hopes for the blush so these are called the dual blushed blush and highlighter blushed this is in the shade queen and as you can see it's a gorgeous gorgeous coral ah okay this is pretty. This I like. This does not have any scent. Okay. We have a win. It's not a total loss. I am down with that. I'm going to go ahead and now use the bronzer. So this is called the Summer Super Bronze Powder Super Matte Finish in this shade Desert. I think they only had like two or three shades to choose from so not very many and that is what it looks like it looks pretty promising let's take a little bit of this bronzer this is what it looks like and that's very chalky it's just flying everywhere honestly i don't even know if it'll show up on my skin because this foundation is so dark on me this as well does not have any scent I can't see it either. It has no pigment or it's just too light to show up on the skin right now because of the color of the foundation. Let's do a swatch. Yeah, so as you can see, it's very creamy and like silky, but as soon as I start blending out, it blends into pretty much nothing that is so disappointing okay so that's another fail let's go in with a highlighter okay we're not giving up on this brand just yet this is the super highlight highlighter super glow finish smooth blendable texture this is in the shade champagne and i mean can you really go wrong with highlighter i think not but you know what i wouldn't be surprised at this point so let's go ahead and take some yeah see that's nice that's actually really pretty 
I mean, it's a highlight again. I don't know how you could possibly mess up a highlight. I cannot get over this foundation. I'm taking it off as soon as I am done recording this video. I am not going back to Walmart looking like this. I look ridiculous. In order to give this eyeshadow palette the best chance to make it is for me to use a good eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to use this one by Profusion. And we're going to hope for the best. I don't have very high hopes at this point. But I'm still keeping a positive mind. So, so I'm going to take this shade right here. This really pretty peachy toned base shade. Tap. Okay. 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 I definitely see some pigment. Honestly, so far this color is not what I expected. Like in the most positive way. It's a really pretty soft pink, but it shows up as a peach color on the pan. So it's a little confusing, but that's okay. We're not here to judge. Let's take the pink right next to it. Honestly, this is going to be probably the best bet. The only thing that I'm going to end up loving from this entire collection. And I'm going to take that pink and I'm just going to keep that into the crease. Oh yeah, this is such a pretty pink. Mm. Look at that, you guys. These are blending out really nicely. They are chalky and they do have quite a bit of kick up. But for the price, I mean... $2.99, you really cannot go wrong. So, I mean, don't expect much, you know? They're layering nice. I'm not gonna compare these to like higher end, better quality eyeshadows, but I'm saying for $3, it's not bad. I am gonna use the last shade, which is that really pretty deep pink, just because I really wanna test every single color out. So I'm gonna go a little bit smaller with my brush and we're gonna dig into this color. Look at that, that's really pretty. And again, I'm just following the same steps, just starting off right here. The only thing that I can tell you is that I know my lids are gonna be stained, which I absolutely do not like. It's so annoying waking up with stained lids but you know what it is what it is so i'm just going to take this all over the crease last shade i'm going to use is the lightest pink which is this really pretty soft petal pink and i'm just going to take this right here right in the middle of the eye where i kind of left that negative space and i'm just really tapping it in this is actually really pretty. I mean, for what it is, it's a really pretty color. Um, I'm sure if you get these wet, they're going to pop even more. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes off camera. I'm gonna come back and then I think we're gonna try on the lipstick. We're also going to try out the setting spray and I think that'll be the end of today's video. The lipstick I picked up is called Believe. It's a really pretty like peachy tone color. I've already lined my lips. Ooh. That's actually really nice. It has a matte finish. Let's see. So this is just the baby lipstick. Doesn't say if it's matte or satin or anything. The color is really, really pretty. So the last thing we're going to test out is the Super Matte Fix Mist, which is the same as the primer. This is supposed to mattify the skin, which I really doubt it's going to. Um, I am going to update you guys in the description box and maybe insert a video here showing you how my skin looked after using it for a few hours. It's really late in the day, so I can't use this makeup for too long. It's 5 o'clock. I filmed really late today because today is actually Valentine's Day and I just had a lot to do. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and set the skin. Okay, wait. Um... You guys, this spray made my skin so matte. I am, I'm literally confused. What the heck? Oh my goodness. This just elevated my skin 
And then mattified it. Okay, so let's do a quick little rundown. Um, absolutely no to the foundation as well as the powder and the primer. The only thing that I have liked so far genuinely is the eyeshadow palette. I really, really like this. Like it's a really pretty color. The payoff is nice. Again, it is a little bit chalky, but I mean, you guys can see that I, I still created a pretty nice look. Um, the highlight is really pretty, but nothing that I really see myself reaching for. The bronzer, it's just, no, don't even try it. It literally disappeared in my skin. I really, really like the formula on the bullet lipsticks. They're really nice. They're creamy. Um, they're not too drying and they have nice, rich pigments. The blush is definitely my absolute favorite thing out of everything. The color in here, it Excuse me, it's beautiful. I ended up using the highlighter and I like this color so much better. So for $2 and some change, I think this is a little blush totally worth picking up. And surprisingly, just off of the first impressions, like how my skin dried down, this is really good. It mattified my skin. Usually all my other setting sprays just leave me looking a little dewy and then I go in with a powder and just kind of like set the skin but I did not have to do that with this. So I am going to keep using this. I'm gonna keep an eye on my skin, how it looks at the end of the day, and hopefully it works. But other than that, you guys, this was so much fun. I honestly don't think I've ever done a video where I've had so many fails, but that's just the reality of makeup. Sometimes things work, sometimes uh, they, they don't, so. It is what it is. That was so much fun. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know what your thoughts are, you guys. Like what products, are you interested in, if any? Are you just totally skipping out on this brand? Are you eyeing anything? Are you gonna pick up any of the hits on, like, is it on your list? Or yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let's chat in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you so much for being here. I love you, stay safe, and I will see you guys in my next video.